Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 69. And today's episode, I'm going to show you a little bit more Photoshop. And today's subject is selective coloring. Um, I got this cool picture that I got today. Um, I was very lucky to get this picture from someone from job from the job. And the reason I like this picture is because of the coloring, and it's perfect because it's something I want to show you, and it would be easy for me to do real quick. Now, the whole reason of this video is because I saw this awesome picture of a family with their child in between them, and um, everything. The parents were black and white. The background was black and white, but the child was like, like right there. It was awesome. He had a green hoodie, and it was standing out with the with the black and white background. And that's this is what I want to show you guys today. So I open up the document. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a Control J to make a copy of it, and I want to select this right here. So if you guys are using another document with a lot of curves. Um, I would say use the pen tool, but I am going to use the quick selection. And because I'm lucky enough, um, I'm selecting all this right here. So I'm just going to make a selection real quick. Oops, try to do that again. I don't want the face. All I want is the lips. That's what's going to stand out the most. So you gotta be careful around the edges. Let's see if we get this all around. That's looking pretty good. That's excellent. Below the lips. I want to make this a little smaller so I could get around the corners. There we go. Oh, that's too much. Go back in history. Okay, so that's perfect. Now, what you want to do? You want to do an inverse command. Uh, I love doing uh, commands on the short on the keyboard when it deals with Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign. It makes the job go a little quicker. So Shift Control I will do an inverse, and as you can see the border around the image you see the little dotted lines that means selected now the next thing you want to do is you want to do it black and white uh, so right here in the bottom you want to change the color mode or you want to select the color mode would be uh, black and white and that's it guys that's about it I should have done a little bit more right here but other than that you guys should get the gif of it uh, got a little edge right here I always do some cleanup um, with the adjustments of black and white, you can actually go around here and play around with the coloring and, you know, get that pop that you're looking for. Other than that, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as well, at the very top right there, don't forget that button. Click on that button. Subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on software and hardware. And thank you, guys. See you later. Subscribe! Thank you.